Why is she trying to perm her hair? Hey guys, what's up? Do not freak out. I know you read the title and you're like, what? I just had a little freak out and I was annoyed with my hair. I didn't go through the process of actually buying things to perm my hair or anything like that. I just was taking it and thinking about it and seeing what I wanted to do from there. Um, so let's back up a bit because I haven't caught you guys up. This all started literally um, maybe two months ago. I had stopped taking hair affinity and for some reason my hair really brittle, really dry, the curl weren't staying, it was frizzy, and it's not that I don't mind frizz, it's that the way it was frizzing was completely different to me, and I did not like how it was. So, I just found it so difficult to take care of my hair, that, you know, I would look around and I would see these people with straight hair, permed hair, um, you know, natural straight hair, things like that, and my first thought was like, that could be me, you know? Like, I really actually took a step back and like was like, you know, my, life was a little bit easier when it was just a perm. All I had to do was, you know, get it done every two, well, or like for me, I only got it done every six months, so get it done every six months, your hair straight, just keep straightening it, straightening it, straightening it, straightening it. And then, thank God for the natural hair community, um, you know, I went back and watched a lot of videos and kind of found my inspiration again for why I went natural in the first place, uh, you know, with YouTubers like You Love Megs and um, Glam Twins, so many people out there who are just, you know, showing you that there's so many different ways to take care of your hair. I remember You Love Megs was who made me start wanting to stretch my hair um, with the perm, and I was thinking that I was going to continue to perm my hair. Um, and eventually, I started to see this thing called, you know, the natural community, and I really, really loved you know, the diversity in the hair, you know, the confidence that came with it, you know, finding like naturally the vibe and Whitney, I know you guys definitely know who Whitney is, um, you know, just finding people out there with such inspirations and who just love their hair and loved it no matter what, no matter what happened, it's just, um, so I kind of didn't want to turn my back on my natural hair because it's been with me through so much and I think I have been mistreating it, trying to make it do things that it wasn't naturally able to do. So I stopped taking hair affinity and my hair is still kind of getting used to being um, in this state where it's a little bit dry and it kind of is getting back to being moisturized and things like that. I really have to just baby it so much. Like I have to take care of it every three days if I don't like it's a mess. So um, I've been trying to protect the style and things like that, especially during the summer. I don't really want to straighten my hair, but when I straighten my hair, I want it to be still like that amazing difference that I want and, you know, to see when I straighten my hair. So I just think I had a panic moment when I was like, perm hair would be so much easier, but I realized how much I love my natural hair and I love natural hair and I love being a part of that community and having, you know, things in common with people. I started talking to a lot of people um, through Instagram and stuff like that. And, you know, I just feel like your hair is so beautiful, like, and just seeing the diversity in it. And it's like, when I kind of had those panic moments, but just being able to look up photos and seeing all this inspiration out there is really, really amazing because it just shows you that there is so much more um, support that I think a lot of us kind of forget sometimes because we feel like alone in our um, journey or lifestyle and we forget that, you know, there are people out there that you can connect with that um, it's not just you in the situation and sometimes everybody feels that moment where they're like, yo, I give up, you know? <laughs> and I was at that point and, you know, like, I love my hair. I'm not going to, like, deny it and say, like, I hate it and all that stuff. But it had gotten to this point where we were not connecting and I kind of just wants to start all over but I think now I kind of challenge myself and I challenge all of you guys out there to appreciate your natural hair and to love it in every state and to just embrace it you know I'm doing this thing I've been doing it for a couple months now where I'm just not going to straighten my hair until maybe September um, in the fall so it's going to be technically six months by the time I straighten my hair, or actually it's going to be eight months since if I swim the last time I straightened my hair until September, it'll be about eight and a half months 
So I'm definitely excited about that. And I challenge all of you guys to just really find the love in your hair and just find that community and those people who inspire you and just people you can talk to. Um, I'm definitely always there if you guys ever want to contact me on my social media or anything like that or if you want to leave a comment below, just say something. But it's like, you know, even when you have those panic moments and you just want to give up and completely start all over, there's nothing wrong with that and I have nothing that's permed or people who perm their hair because I love that part of it. I love the straightness and diversity of just everybody's hair, you know. Um, so I have nothing against that but I'm just saying I had that panic moment. And I was so happy to just see the beautiful curls everywhere from every type of person out there. And it was just so inspiring. And I thought, you know, I can still do that straight look, you know, just straighten it. I don't have to have it every single day. So I just wanted to put that message out there to you guys. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave comments below. Um, just saying whatever you have to say. Just telling me how much you love your hair or how sometimes it's difficult to deal with and you just sometimes feel like giving up because I just, you know, love hearing that story just to know that I'm not alone in this type of situation. So I love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe, comment, and like if you haven't already. Thanks guys. Bye.